Hello and welcome. Before we get started, I just wanted to do a couple housekeeping things. I wanted to mention that I am in front of an open window just so I could get the best natural light so that you can see the colors as best that you can. Um, but sometimes that means that the street in front of us can get a little noisy and a little busy. So we'll just pretend that we're sitting on my porch and you asked to see my planner and to tell you everything that I like about the Giglio A5 Appointo. And we're just sitting on my porch. You can even hear the breeze. So let's pretend that we're doing that and let's get started. So Gilio, I received an email from them that said that they've restocked um, a lot of their Appuntos in a bunch of different colors. I thought now would be a great time to share my experience with my Gilio A5 Appunto and what I've put inside, how I've chosen to set it up, the wear and tear after almost a year, where I got it, what I paid for it, that kind of thing. So let's get started. This is the Giglio A5 Appunto, and I purchased this in October or November of 2018. I purchased it in the Giglio Facebook group, and I purchased it from a young woman in Belgium named Jennifer, and she was tremendous to work with. When I received this, it was in practically new condition. Any wear and tear that you see is definitely from me, not from Jen and she's, she was wonderful to work with. She shipped it to me in its original, its original Gilio box, and she sent it with the pen. I've opted not to use the pen. I have a favorite, and so I chose to stick with that. And she even shipped it packed in its original Gilio forensic box. So she was great, and she tucked in some sweet stickers and things like that. So it was all around a wonderful experience. I'm going to have to double check and see how much I paid. I can't remember. I want to say it was around $150, but I'm not 100% sure. I will definitely check that for you. So these pens, those are my favorite pens, and I'll talk about those in a few minutes. So let's check the outside for wear and tear. So you can see after about a little over seven months of using this. I sort of have made my mark on it, quite literally. I've got some fingernail prints and I've stuffed it pretty full. Here it is from the side after half the year has gone by so you can see where I've created inside and where it's still to be created. This is actually the best view of that. You can see there's the remainder of the year and here's the parts that we've already been through. Here are my bookmarks, well two of the bookmarks that I use. Typically I use these little safety pin paper clips from Anthropology, and I set things up and I also use from Erin Condren, I think that's where this is from, yep, from Erin Condren I sort of separate things out by binding the pages together in a group. Once you know a bunch of chunk of time has gone by I use these rubber bands to help out too. So let's take a look inside and see how I've got this set up. But as you can see, but, oh, sorry about the wear and tear, back to the wear and tear. After all that time, my glazing is good. The edges, the corners have softened a little bit because I tend to keep it in the flannel drawstring bag that came with it. Thanks again to Jennifer, she included that. I tend to keep it inside the flannel bag and so it gets pushed a little bit like this and into my school bag. I'm an elementary school teacher and it sort of gets a little bit bent here and there. But the glazing is in perfect condition it's developing a nice patina and what I do is I every night when I put my face oil on if I have leftover on my hands I sort of put it on the outside and it keeps it nice and soft. Not making any recommendations I'm just saying that's what I typically do. And the popper still working you can see that it's straining a little bit because I've got a lot in here so let's go over how I've set it up what I've chosen to put inside and how it's working out after half the year has gone by. So Inside, I have the Hobonichi, is it Techo? Correct me if I'm wrong, please, uh, cousin. And I chose this for a number of reasons. Originally, last year, I used a, well, before, trying to think, I have quite a checkered past with planners, as I know a lot of people in the planner community do. Last year, I started with the Apple Pig Cave Art Traveler's Notebook System and I had different inserts for different things. But what bothered me about that is that at the end of the year, I had sort of just a stack of notebooks for one year, and I wanted to have just one book. 
Um, that was just a personal preference. And so when I found this, this seemed to have everything I wanted and work really well for me. So I ended up putting the cave art aside for a while. And it's a that's a beautiful, beautiful book. If anybody is thinking about purchasing something from Apple Pig and Ting, it's absolutely outstanding craftsmanship. But this just happened to suit me better. So in here I have, I use this side for kind of like mementos and things. I have a Starbucks gift card with nothing on it, but it does have Braille. And I have a son with a severe visual impairment. And this reminds me of him every time I touch it or see it. So I like having him with me. And this is from a great place that we stayed next door to in Nantucket. Every day we were there a couple times a day, the Handlebar Cafe. This came, this is actually a piece of the package. I had ordered a manifesto from the Get to Work book website and this sticker was on the outside, which I love, so I, I saved it. And this awesome bookworm lady is just fantastic. And she's double-sided and laminated and made from, if you feel that, you can see how, I'm trying to, there you go, show you how nice and good quality the laminate is. This is from an Etsy shop called J Black, J-B-L-A-C-Q-U-E, and I will link her Etsy shop below. And she does an absolutely, absolutely outstanding job. And she makes beautiful, she's from Oakland, beautiful bookmarks and things like that. So. I mentioned before that I had um, a checkered past with planners. I had purchased this a few years ago when I had also purchased the Louis Vuitton GM planner binder. So you can see that she has a couple of holes here. She was originally designed as a punch out bookmark and uh, her, just her hair would peek out at the top for the, the GM sized binders. But I decided that that didn't work for me, but I absolutely did not want to stop using her because she just is absolutely fierce empowered totally makes me smile and so i keep her in here i have another one actually back here um also was oops also was a bookmark um in my binder but i cut the the rings off and i utilize this young lady in the back here she's just fabulous I actually placed an order today for some more bookmarks I have a couple of journaling cards in here some artwork that I made I made this little bookmark myself um, big things happen one day at a time and then I have some little old hotel things that just have a picture of the place where we stayed. Those are great mementos. So what I've done is I put a piece of, not really vellum, but this plasticky sort of scrapbooking paper. And this one has lots of, it says nice things on it. Um, but a lot of the gold has worn off, as you can see, throughout this half of the year and is getting off along here. Um, what I like using, but I wanted to create a sort of dashboard to protect these things, but also I wanted to have something nice here. This is a photo from Rebecca Plotnick, and she does absolutely beautiful work. If you really like pictures of Paris, or you love Paris, or you're a real Francophile, I highly recommend checking her out. I use her photos as my dashboard all year long. This was my winter one underneath here. And then this one is my summer one and then back here I keep these are the ones that I used for spring I sort of had them take turns and I just put them here with a paper clip or some washi but then I try to keep them sort of seasonal this one I'm going to use for late summer and it's my absolute favorite I actually purchased a larger print of this an 8x10 for my wall in my bedroom because I like it so much and she includes these sweet cards inside and write some lovely notes so that you can see how she just does a wonderful job so I keep those oh here she is so if you want to see her website you can follow her at everyday Parisian 
and that is also her Instagram handle if you'd like to check her out on Instagram she's absolutely great all right before we dive in I forgot about this pocket there's a pocket here and in there I don't have too much just a couple journaling cards I love these little chic sparrow um, dashboard covers this is like the passport size and I like them because you could just slide them in they protect things here's KT's canvases and she prints she makes these little things these are just she does a beautiful job she draws a lot of animals um, she'll do a customizable pet portrait for you but I just saw this and I absolutely love it with grace in her heart and flowers in her hair but I suggest you check her out at let's see if I can get a nice close-up here I think it says KTS KT's canvases.com but you can also find her on Instagram and there's a picture of my daughter and my dad she was dressed like him for a school project and my dad and I Oh, and then a photo of me that my dad took when I was younger. So I keep these things tucked safely in here because they're important. One of the reasons that I chose this setup is because it has everything that's important to me in a journal. My biggest things for keeping it all together were monthly so I can have an overview of what we have going on in our family for the entire month. I can see what weekends are going to be busy, what aren't, and I can tell if we need a weekend off and I can plan that ahead. The second thing that was really important to me was a weekly overview where I could break down to-do lists, um, outfits of the day, menus, things like that just to sort of keep us in line throughout the whole week. And then I wanted a daily for the third thing. I, I wanted a daily so that I could reflect on the day and keep a journal. This Hobonichi uh, cousin, Te Teco, I apologize again if I'm saying that wrong, has everything and all of those things and more. So one of the ways I wanted to stay organized was to be able to tell which section I was in at which point in time. So I purchased these little stick-on tabs. These are the monthlies. I use the green. The weeklies, I chose to use this sort of tan color. And then the daily section is all in the purple. I got those from an Etsy shop. I tried to find those for you. I could not find where I purchased them. If I got them from maybe Jet Pens, I don't know where I got them from, to be honest with you. Um, but I just, because I just recently went to order some more from next year and I got them from somewhere else. I will post something about those when they come in if they're terrific. So at the beginning I set up my monthlies and started with January and this these little stickers here this sticker here is from Aurora's Heart she's in Germany and does an amazing job here's the bigger one this is also from her March I try to paint each month so you can see what this looks like um, this has sort of things that are going on bills to pay it I can tell what's going on over the weekend if we're traveling so this was really really I just like these a lot one of the things that was very important to me also when choosing a journal was the ability to paint inside one of my biggest in inspirations as far as journaling is Allie Brown and you can find her on YouTube at Allie Brown, A-L-I-B-R-O-W-N. Or you can find her on Instagram at Allie Brownie, spelled just like the brownie. And she talks a lot about Tomoe River paper and how fantastic it is and how it doesn't bleed through. And this book is created on, made of Tomoe River paper. So I'm able to watercolor. I'm able to use um, markers all different types of markers in it and it doesn't bleed through a little bit when I add a lot of water this watercolor took a lot of blending so you can see here's July I got a lot of things going on so the weeklies I've got a lot of different things in the weekly and I paint a different one for every week and if they have different sort of 
themes based on what I'm feeling that week, what the weather's gonna be like. And then I put down usually my outfits of the day, my menu, my expenses, those kinds of things. There was Pride Week. So you can see, then I switch it up. It's summertime, so I'm a teacher, like I said, so I a lot things become a lot more relaxed around here, especially outfits of the day, things like that. Um, but if we're gonna go someplace, like we went to New York this week, I have my Washington Square Arch sticker. So those are weeklies. I like to record the temperature and our menu again, outfits of the day, expenses, meditation, intermittent fasting if I choose to do that, reading, water, how many steps. And then I have, right before the year started, there was this double page spread of turning the page to a new year. And with this, I decided to make a vision board because I thought, wow, I wanna be able to carry it with me and to refer to it. So I went through some magazines and chose some things and also some sticker books. So, the background is also made, like this sort of background came from this sticker book, the premium sticker book by McCush. And I purchased this on Amazon and it's really quite thick. And there's all sorts of different things. You could use them for tags. You can use them for book plates. You could use them for anything. I've used some of these in my work. So here's the big paper. Like this is a whole sheet of sticker, and that's the one that I used for the background. It's all sticker. And there's the back of it in case you need that. I also used some stickers from here. Stickers, tags, and inspiration. Do more of what makes you happy. That's a Kiki K product. I use some of them. You can see they came from in here also. I have stickers that I use in my everyday journaling and I'll share that with you in just a minute. So then, oh, here's another Rebecca, um, Rebecca, Rebecca Plotnik photo. And I've put some things under here and I sort of made a tip in, I think Allie calls those. Here is my April. They, the beginning of each month in here is a blank page. And I used another sticker page from that book that I just showed you for the background and I created a collage. And that's my April page. I think I have a, where's my February? Here's February. So it's always blank and then I go and I try to set some intentions. I'm gonna skip because I wanna show you a blank page for a second. Okay. What I like about this in the daily pages is that it has, if you look here, like five little spaces at the top. I always, ooh, excuse the breeze. I always use that for my gratitude every morning. And then here in this space, I like to write down where I am, what time it is, what it's doing outside, just so that I can remember back. What I also really enjoy is that this has the phases of the moon. So if you're a moon crystal person and like those kinds of things, I do, um, I find this really helpful. So you can see on August 1st, there's gonna be a new moon. So get ready, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here is the July, my July page. This is onward and upward because I have a milestone birthday coming up this month. So that's this little card, this onward and upward card came in a pack from Ikea that was on sale. So here's, oh, here's some things I was grateful for and what was going on. It was seven o'clock at night, it was on my porch, and things I was grateful for that day, the other, this was just last week, Reese Witherspoon's Book Club, washi tape, living close to New York City, Trader Joe's ice cream sandwiches, those are the cookie ones, if you haven't tried those, oh my goodness, that made two chocolate chip cookies and they're just delicious, and just an overall insight. And somebody posted this on Instagram, mid-year reflection questions. And I really liked those. And I wrote my responses underneath. I um, mentioned that I'm going to have a 50th birthday 
well, I said it was a milestone birthday, but it's a 50th birthday coming up. And I found that the best way to spend my birthday is doing random acts of kindness. And so for my 50th birthday, we're going to try and do 50 random acts of kindness with my husband and my kids. And that's just the brainstorming list for those. These are 100, 100 things to do in 2019. These are some blank pages at the back. So I've got sort of a, a list here. I haven't finished the list, so I guess finishing my list of 100 things to do would be on my list of 100 things to do. <laughs> This is the manifesto that also came from um, the Get to Work book website. So I ordered that and kept it in the plastic to protect it so I could use it again. This is another one of those Chic Sparrow sort of passport cover things and I made the artwork inside. And this, oh, what is her name? I'll have to link her name below also. She is absolutely outstanding. She's an artist that I follow on Instagram, and she just does the most beautiful things. And um, I printed that out. I want to say it's Y-A-O, Y-A-O. I'm going to check it out and put that below. And these came from Chic Sparrow. And that's a picture of my grandmother. I just love it. I have a dress very similar, actually. And under my hand is just one of the picture one of my students wrote on the back of. And in, in here, I, oops, the ruler came out. I usually keep this ruler in with this young lady. And in the zipper compartment, I have just those little appointment cards from doctors. Um, those are helpful because they have the doctor's phone number on it. So if I need to call for the kids or something at work, I'm able to do it. Um, here is our Christmas card from this year. I like to keep that in the back because I think that it just is a great family photo and I keep that in the back as my family photo. We had some extras and yeah. This is from a snail mail Valentine exchange that I did on Instagram through Jen's ink pen and Lori Jean Whitaker painted this. And she's also on Instagram, and she just did an absolutely tremendous job. There's her. Name is here. You can check her out on Instagram. And what I love, what she put, she put on the back. Jennifer, happy Valentine's Day. May you see all the blessings that surround you. Love, Lori Jean. So I keep that in here with me because that's so important, too. So, pros and cons. Um... Oh, wait, before I get into those, this is my very, very favorite pen to use in this. And this is the Tradio Pentel 0.5 or 05. This is blue ink. This was recommended by Mandy is on Fire, who's also really great um, journaler to follow. And she recommended those and I absolutely love them. So I keep extras on hand of those. So overall, pros and cons. Pro of both the insert and the material. So both the cover from Julio and the insert, the pros are it contains absolutely everything I needed to and want it to. It's durable, it is long lasting, it's worth, in my opinion, the investment for sure. It is professional on the outside. The inside you can do whatever you want with and I do love color and I love painting. You can see all my colors and paint and things like that so but the outside remains professional so I can use it at work um, I like that I can use it for multiple purposes for not only meal planning um, planning for work appointments I can also use it for um, tracking the weather and things like that but it also has my daily reflections my daily gratitude Oh, and I said that I would show you the other stickers that I like to use. I'll show you that in just a minute. Some of the cons, let me think. Uh, cons are, well, very few. I can just think of, well, I'm trying to think. It does have a limited capacity, right? So I can put, this half the year has gone by. I've used up, you can see how much. It is getting fat. My popper is there so the capacity it's 
I think the capacity is reasonable. I think my expectation and what I like to stick in my planner might be unreasonable. I think actually the capacity is terrific. Um, but it is really weighty. Like you're not gonna wanna throw this in your handbag and then go to the mall. Um, this is something I like to carry in my school bag, not necessarily in my purse. In my purse, I actually use an Hermes, I think it's a PM, and I can do a review on that if you're interested in the uh, Hermes Ulysses PM, Ulysses or Ulysses PM, I can definitely um, do a little bit of uh, an overview of that. Um, oh, my favorite pens for inside. Besides the Pentel one, I love the flares and these little midliners. And one of the things that I like to do at the end of the week is something that Brene Brown recommends. I didn't get to do it yesterday, so I have to get back to it. Hold on a second. Are the TGIF, what are you trusting? What are you grateful for? What are you inspired by? And what are you doing for fun? So trusting, grateful, inspired by, and fun. And that was my list from last week. So those I use the zebra or zebra midliners and the flares and sort of coordinating colors. And also, um, I tend to write down things that I like to remember. So this is, these are some wisdom it's of wisdom that Elaine Welteroth shared in her book, and I had to write them down. This is my very favorite right here. Sometimes just being yourself is a radical act. Your authenticity is your activism. And I just drew a sketch of theirs. It says, glad I'm here, and that's me on my porch. So some of these stickers that you see, I actually keep them in this little pouch that I picked up at Ikea just a couple weeks ago. So if you if you like this, you'll see it there. Um, and I use the Happy Planner Girl Faith Warrior ones, the Create 65 Happy Planner quotes. I like those. These are the New York City ones. I wish I could tell you who made these. I picked these up at one of the Christmas markets at Union Square in New York City and absolutely fantastic, but I don't have the artist's name any place, which makes me sad because I'd love to share a link. I'll see if I can find it. If so, I'll link them below, but it's gonna be a tricky one. These are from um, the Dragon Tree. These planner stickers. These are from a set one of my students gave me from Target. And there we are. Another set of the quotes ones because I use those a lot. And they fit nicely. I think this is designed to be an iPad case, but these fit really well in here. So those were, that's everything I can think of to tell you about this guy. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comment box below. I will try and link everything I mentioned inside. And I hope that this was helpful if you're thinking about picking up one of these uh, Giulio Apuntos now that they've come back in stock. I highly recommend the product. I would definitely purchase it again. If I needed to purchase one at full price and wasn't able to get one from a reseller, I would definitely do that too. Um, and as far as the insert, the Hobonichi Techo, Techo, again, I'm sorry about that. Um, I would, will definitely be purchasing one of these again as soon as they are released. And that's all I can think of. So if you have any questions, put them below. And thank you for watching my very first YouTube video. And I appreciate your patience. And I hope to make more. Thanks. Have a great day.